Hi guys, welcome to Android Guider. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the unable to decrypt data with a default password error in TWRP. Before we begin, please make sure you are subscribed to the channel and like this video if you find it helpful. Let's dive in. Now, the underlying issue that causes this error is TWRP's inability to decrypt the data partition. With the Android Marshmallow and above, Google uh, made it mandatory for Android manufacturers to ship their devices with the uh, encrypted data partitions. The problem here is that uh, each Android manufacturer uses their uh, own set of encryption and uh, decryption algorithms. And uh, since the code for these algorithms isn't public, uh, the TWRP developers have a hard time adopting these algorithms for the recovery. Uh, so how they go about this is that uh, they have to reverse engineer a bunch of these files, uh, make them uh, work with the TWRP files, and only then can uh, encryption and decryption work with your device. So if uh, the TWRP maintainer for your device actually went and did that hard work, and uh, trust me, reverse engineering is a very time consuming and cumbersome process. Uh, anyone who actually did that, uh, they deserve a pat on their back because it's uh, extremely laborious and uh, it can also get boring and tiring at times. So if uh, the maintainer for your device actually went ahead and did that hard work, then uh, your device would have support for encryption decryption. And uh, it's not just uh, the device manufacturers. Google even keeps making some changes to these encryption decryption algorithms with uh, every new major release of Android. So uh, the TWRP developers have to do two things here. They firstly have to ensure that uh, TWRP is compatible with all uh, the new changes that are uh, introduced by Google in AOSP. And uh, then they have to tailor uh, the recovery by creating uh, what we call as blobs as per uh, the encryption decryption algorithms leveraged by each Android manufacturer. So uh, that's what uh, makes supporting encryption decryption hard on uh, TWRP. Uh, I'll link this blog post uh, down below, it's a very good read and it will uh, help you better understand why TWRP hasn't been uh, able to support encryption decryption for uh, all the devices. So the first thing that you have to do to solve this error is uh, ensure that you are using the latest version of TWRP. Uh, as you have already seen, with the every new update, uh, the TWRP team is constantly trying to uh, bring in more fixes so that they can add support for encryption decryption to more devices and uh, make this process work more smoothly without uh, any issues. So uh, ensure that you are using the latest release of TWRP for your device. You can easily see if there is an update available for your device by either installing the TWRP app or going to TWRP's website and seeing if a new version is available. In case the latest release of TWRP wasn't able to sort out this error for you, then one of these solutions will definitely work. Uh, now in most cases, when you are uh, getting this uh, error, you will uh, get a prompt up while uh, booting into TWRP where you would be asked to enter a password. Uh, so what you have to do here is that, and by the way, this isn't mandatory that you would uh, get this pop-up. Uh, but if you do, then uh, this is what you have to do. Uh, if you are using a PIN or uh, a passcode as your lock screen, then uh, you just have to enter that uh, PIN or uh, passcode here. Uh, and then uh, once you have entered that, click on the check mark in the bottom right uh, corner and uh, see if uh, the error gets sorted out. Uh, in case you are using a pattern lock, then uh, we have to do things slightly differently. Uh, so now here we have to determine uh, a password for the pattern lock. Uh, take a look at uh, this uh, number grid here. There is a number beside every dot. Based on uh, the pattern lock that you use, you now have to come up with the, the number equivalent of the pattern lock. So uh, if uh, let's say this was my pattern lock, then uh, the password here would be 125763. In case uh, uh, the password doesn't work, then uh, we will uh, reboot into system and uh, remove the secured lock screen entirely. Uh, so press and hold uh, the power key uh, for a few seconds, uh, then uh, your phone will start booting normally. Uh, once the phone uh, boots up, head over to the security settings uh, and then uh, from here remove the pin pattern uh, passcode or whichever lock screen you were using and uh, then also remove any fingerprints that uh, you had enrolled. Once that is done, reboot into TWRP again and uh, see if it still asks for a password. If it does, uh, press on cancel this time and uh, uh, check whether uh, the error is solved now. Uh, in case it still isn't, go to TWRP's homepage, click on reboot and then reboot to recovery. Uh, when you get the password prompt up again, try entering default 
underscore password. TWRP will uh, attempt to decrypt the data partition again, and uh, this may sort sort out the error. Uh, now, don't worry if uh, nothing so far has worked for you. Then uh, one of the following solutions will uh, work. So, like let's say if we are going to get to solution number two now, if that doesn't work, then solution number three will. So it's going to be that way. Now, uh, for solution number two, we are uh, we will use TWRP's built-in repair file system feature to repair the data partition uh, so go back to twrp's home page click on wipe then on advanced wipe and uh, check the box beside data after that tap on uh, repair or change file system and uh, then click on uh, repair file system or uh, click on that button finally uh, perform a swipe uh, to start the repair process once uh, the process is complete, go to TWRP's homepage again and uh, then click on reboot and then reboot to recovery again. Now check if uh, the error was sorted out. If that still didn't work, then let's uh, try out solution number three. So look, uh, if uh, your device isn't encrypted in the first place, then you wouldn't even face this error. Uh, so what we will do with solution number three is we will wipe the data partition completely and disable data encryption. The problem here is that uh, you will end up losing all of your apps, images, videos, and everything that is stored on your internal storage. Uh, so before proceeding further, connect your uh, phone to a PC or uh, if you can take a backup to cloud, then do that. Backup everything that is important to you uh, because uh, this will erase all the data on your internal storage. Uh, once you have backed up, then um, go to TWRP again and uh, this time click on wipe, then click on format data. Type yes and uh, then click on the blue tick in the bottom right of the keyboard. The error should now be fixed. Uh, now, in case uh, you didn't have a working ROM, uh, for uh, backing up your data, uh, then uh, I'm afraid you can't do anything to save your data. You will end up losing it. I'm sorry, but uh, uh, that's what you have to do to recover your phone. Your uh, phone would now be fine and uh, working flawlessly. So you can uh, continue flashing ROMs, installing mods and doing whatever you want. Uh, but before you reboot back into system, uh, there is a one advice that I would like to give you. Uh, the thing here is that uh, when you reboot your device now, uh, it uh, it's likely, as I already mentioned, that uh, devices with Android Marshmallow or above, they are encrypted by default. So when you reboot your device, it, uh, it will most likely encrypt the data partition again. And uh, then uh, th this makes it uh, more likely that uh, you will run into this uh, unable to decrypt data with a default password error. To avoid that, I would uh, recommend disabling data encryption entirely. Uh, now, if you would like to do that, then uh, you can uh, visit this XDA thread linked in the description. Download the flashable zip for uh, disabling DM Verity and uh, for force encryption from here. Uh, once that's downloaded, you can copy it to the internal storage of your device. By the way, you will have to do this process on a computer because uh, if you end up uh, rebooting your phone and then downloading that file, then uh, your device storage would already be encrypted. So uh, make sure you do this before rebooting your device. Uh, once uh, you download uh, the file and uh, it's copied to the internal storage, then uh, flash it and uh, now you can uh, simply reboot your ROM and uh, uh, everything would work uh, flawlessly. You can transfer back your data if you backed it up or uh, you can install apps again from scratch. Do whatever you want, everything will work fine now. So that's about it for this video. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful and I really hope that uh, uh, you were able to solve this error by just uh, uh, using solution one or two or by and you didn't have to go through and erase your data. So uh, in case you found this video helpful, then uh, you know what to do. Uh, smash that subscribe button, click on the like button and uh, comment down below telling me about your experience. Well, that uh, wraps up this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Take care. And uh, I'll see you guys.